This week we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a folded paper project. And here's my shark from last time. And then we have a surprise. He's eating a sub sandwich. So you're going to think about what your animal or creation could have surprise, could surprise the audience with. So here's another one that I made of a lovely clownfish. Happy little clownfish and surprise, he's eating a ship. So he might not be the little clownfish you thought he was. So we're going to do a clownfish. We're going to go over how to draw a clownfish. They're not that hard. We just have to observe the different things that make a clownfish look like a clownfish. So I'm gonna start with this piece of paper. I'm gonna fold it hamburger style. This is hamburger style, in case you're wondering. This is hot dog style. That's how we came up with hamburger style. So I'm gonna fold it hamburger style, fold it in half. And then you're gonna take the flaps and fold them back up to the fold. So take the flaps back up to the fold, flip it over. My fold is still up here. I'm gonna take my flap and take it up to the fold. Okay, and then I have, ah! <laughs> I have the way it needs to look. So you're going to have this accordion look right here. But it doesn't matter when you're drawing it, if the flap is on the bottom or the top, you just need this top and this bottom to be together. If you want to, you could even tape this when you start. Okay, so we're gonna look at the clownfish and what makes a clownfish look like a clownfish. So it starts with something that kind of looks like a mitten. So if you look at this inner shape, it looks like a mitten without the thumb. So I'm gonna draw a mitten without the thumb. Okay, so here's my mitten, no thumb. Now this clownfish has two fins on top, two fins on the bottom. So we're gonna go right up here, a nice flat fin. One, two, and then two on the bottom. One, and they're kind of organic, they're not perfect. Two, okay, and then he has like a lot of fish, just a little, sideways U, and I'm gonna make sure that goes right over my fold here. Okay, and then I'm going to do an eyeball. I'm gonna do the little black part and the pupil in the middle there. Okay, and then what makes a clownfish really look like a clownfish are these three stripes of white right in the middle. So the first one starts right behind the eye. So I'm gonna draw a wavy line and then another wavy line. And that's where my white is gonna go. And then I'm gonna come back in between the fins. I'm gonna draw another one. We're gonna practice our overlapping. Jump over the fin. And you're mimic mimicking what this line looks like. So if there's a wave here, we wanna do a wave here. Okay, so then this is gonna stay white. And then my last white stripe is just at the end of the, these fins. And I'm gonna mimic that first line that I did. And that stays white. Now the mouth I wanna put somewhere around this line. And there is my happy clownfish. Now I'm gonna grab this piece of tape and put this here. I'm gonna open this up. Now I get to decide what kind of silly surprise is gonna go on in here. So I'm gonna take the fin and I'm going to extend it down. And this is the white stripe that continues up. I'm gonna mimic that same white stripe. And then here's the middle fin. And then here is my last wavy line. And I'm gonna mimic that again. Now what is this clownfish hungry for? 
I have no idea what your clown fish is hungry for. But mine would like to have starfish. He's hungry for starfish. I was going to say french fries. Maybe he's hungry for a cheeseburger. Could be anything. What's going to be the funniest? Okay, maybe this guy's like, no, don't eat me. Okay, and then when I pick this up, I can make this guy just so friendly. And then, oh! Okay, so these, you, these are just going to be as super fun because you're going to use your imaginations to make it really interesting to see what they eat. I have one other design I'm going to show you. And this is a plant, and I call this uh, Jack and the Beanstalk kind of an idea, because it's just this little magical looking plant, and then surprise, maybe it grew into the sky, and maybe you can make Jack climbing up the beanstalk or the giant in here somewhere with his house. So um, we're gonna go over how to do that in just a moment.